what's going on guys Bataha here in this video we're gonna be doing some mods to the AT125 UT four-wheeler from Coleman one of the main issues I'm having with this thing is when I go to first start it the first like initial start of the day it's just not one to start you know I have to give it some gas and stuff and it takes a while to kind of crank up and actually start new spark plug new carburetor new air filter the main reason why i'm gonna go ahead and change out everything is i want to see if i can get more performance but you cannot adjust the carburetor that's on here so that's a no-no from coleman Is spark plug so get yourself one of these NGK spark plugs I'll link it down below take off your spark plug boot it's 5 8 you have a 5 8 socket size Okay. First thing you want to do is make sure it's gapped. Rookie mistake, bro. Rookie mistake. It's probably going to be easier if you actually if you come at it from this side. Let's snug it up. That looks good. Make sure that boot goes back on there. Okay, first thing that's coming off is this breather. You can see it just runs down there to that crankcase off of Amazon. I'll link them down below. It's two little breathers. In the breather, it's just kind of free floating, but that'll really keep dirt and stuff out of there next thing to come off is going to be the air filter it's literally just the thin thing of foam that keeps dust out <laughs> look at how thin that is comes with a fuel filter two fuel filters i don't know if i'd use these they might be kind of cheap air filter looking good comes with See a normal gasket, two O-ring gaskets, and two rubber gaskets with the rubber O-rings. Bolts to mount them. A fuel line. You have idle, and you got air fuel mixture. Two bolts in there that are holding it on on each side. Already took the air filter off. Here is a side-by-side -side comparison of the two carburetors. Stock Coleman on the left. I think it's a PZ. 19 or pz 20 on the right main difference that i'm noticing right now is well look at this opening right here but if you look down in there you can see kind of where it shrinks down that's almost identical to how that one is right there so this one it has a choke way out here for this one the choke it's a little different you flip this and this thing comes down from the top you can see it coming down right now sorry it's hard to do with one hand comes down from the top blocks it that would be where the adjustment is but that one's tapped here you got fuel mixture and idle almost identical this kit comes with the two nuts and the little things on the back but the old bolts fit straight into the threads Throttle body assembly. Looks good. Carburetor has been mounted up. We just gotta tighten it down a little bit. Okay, we got the air filter mounted on there, so that's the complete thing.
Oh! Like the... On the stock carburetor, it would only rev out to like... On here, on to 7. See this little gauge? It only rev out to like 7. This one goes like full max. Goes to like 10. Alright guys, I'm calling that a success, it's way faster than before, whatever that old carburetor had, it was just blowing it down, I can't wait to top speed test this thing, it definitely feels faster on the acceleration and it, by far you can rev this thing way higher than before. So I will link both the spark plug and the carburetor kit, it comes with an air filter, I'll link all that down below straight through Amazon both were cheap I think it was only like $15 for the carburetor kit so I definitely recommend it but anyway guys I'm Bataha thanks for watching this video and I'll see you all in the next one